You are the power. That's right. The power is all in you. You are all powerful. And those who wish to control us know this. And that is why they wish to control you. How you going, guys? My name's Campbell. Welcome. This is Spiral Up, where we talk about practical everyday things we can use to improve our life and get more of what we want. And today I wanted to talk about the power that is you. So let's jump into it. Hey guys, so you are powerful. You are all powerful. You are a fractal of the creator. You are in fact a hologram of the creator. Basically every part of the whole is contained within you, but you are just a part of the whole, just a fractal of it. Which means that the creator, God, universe, whichever label you want to put on it, is inside you. You, you are that. It's your essence. It's a part of you and you're, you're a part of it. And this essence, this God, is clearly, it's, it's a creative energy, a creative force. That's what it does. It creates. It creates things, new experiences, new thoughts, new points of view for us to experience down here in our 3D reality. And because of this, and because this is within us, it means that we are creators, guys. And you've probably heard this, and you may believe it or you may not, but we are creators, and we create everything that comes to us. That's right, it's all your fault. <laughs> um, that's, 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 that's the harsh truth, and the good news is everything is our fault. Um, so a lot of people don't like to hear this, because if you're getting a lot of what you don't want, and someone says that's your fault, well, that's probably not a nice thing to hear. But if you're living your best life and you're ecstatically happy every day and someone says that's all your fault, well, you're probably pretty happy with that. And the truth is that both statements are true. We create our lives. We create our experience. We draw everything to us because we're using that creative force, that creative energy that is part of us. And this is why they want to control you because you're a creator. This is why they create things like the news, the MSN, movies, music. Okay, you may have all heard of affirmations. An affirmation is when you create a positive saying for yourself and you repeat it over and over. Uh, a common one uh, that many of you may know is every day in every way I'm getting better and better. Now that's an affirmation. Now what have they introduced uh, over the last sort of 60, 70 years to us, they've changed music. They've changed music so that it can be played on radio, which means it all has to be, uh, has to fit the, the format, doesn't it? It has to be made up of, you know, chorus and verses. And it's, they're, they're short, they have to be, you know, only three or four minutes, so they can't be a proper story, you can't get too much information. And they're repetitive. So what a song is, is an affirmation. Because we sing these songs in our heads. So this is a way that they can program us. They can just put out songs uh, and pump, you know, because they make songs popular. They make songs become popular by giving them airtime. And so this is a way that they can use the energy inside you because they change your thoughts and your thoughts change what you're creating. They also do it with TV, with movies. Have you noticed that uh, if you go back and look at the movies from, you know, the 50s, 60s, even the 70s, they were a bit happier, they were a bit different. You know, there's lots of musicals, lots of dancing, lots of laughing. Uh, you didn't really find many dystopian films back there. There was a couple. Uh, then you, you fast forward to the 80s, and it was all Mad Max and dystopian future. And, of course, that's gone all the way through. This is programming. They, this is predictive programming so that if something like this happens we accept it as normal because we've seen it so many times we think oh of course this is just what happens again that is those who wish to control us using the creative energy in you to create the world that they want and to create the outcome that they want 
So this is where we need to use our power of choice, which is the biggest superpower we have. We get to choose. And seeing as we're creators, we get to choose what to create. So, uh, as I said, the MSN, you know, the music industry, advertising, all this stuff, it's all designed to get us to think certain thoughts, the, the thoughts that those who wish to control us want us to think. And this is how they create the world that they want because they're not creators. They don't have, they don't have the power. They're jealous of us. That's why they don't like us. But they need us. But they don't like us. Um, because we, we're the creators. We're powerful. And it's, this is our realm. They need to go. And this is all going to happen, uh, very soon as we go through into the new age of Aquarius. But yeah, this is what's been going on for, uh, the last ages. They're manipulating our thoughts. They're manipulating our information, um, only giving us certain information and withholding other stuff. And this is all to make us think a certain way. And that is so that they can create the world that they want. So the way that we change our reality, the way that we change the world, the biggest superpower we have is to change what we think. Because when we change what we think, then we change how we act. When we change how we act, we change everything. Okay, because um, thoughts in action are how we really can affect the physical world and just thoughts are how we affect the energetic world, which is actually more powerful. But as we've come out of an age, of an earth age, uh, you know, the physical was a bit more important, but now we're going into an air age, Aquarius. So thought, uh, create, creating my thought is going to be a lot more powerful. So this is the thing, it's really time to take back our thoughts and decide what is it that we want for this new age, for the age of Aquarius. We've had enough of rule and control and, you know, um, censorship of information, of our history. Uh, that's done, but what, what do we want? And everyone, everyone says that they, they don't want that. And it's good, you know, when you know what you don't want, you often know what you do want. But, you know, we can go further than that. We can create whatever we want. We can create, you know, these these fantasy, fantasy, you know, what they tell us are fantasy worlds that look so cool, you know. Um, you know, living in, in the forest with the environment and earth energies and, and magic and, you know, living in harmony, you know, as our true selves. You know, that that's a... We can do that. We don't need... To, to form our new reality from our old reality. We don't need to create the new world from the old world, and we shouldn't, because Babylon is crumbling and it's not good. Um, there's nothing there for us. We need to create from a space that is uh, true and that, that is us, because if you build on rotten foundations, the new building is just going to fall over. Uh, and this is what they're trying to do. They're trying to get us to think from their perspective. You know, if there's a new world, you know, they're trying to get us to think about the perspective of, oh, it's got to be, be to do with, you know, what can you sell to people or, and cities and all this infrastructure and the way that things already are and law. But none of that has to exist. We, we don't need government. You don't need government if you believe you need government. Because if you believe you need government, then you, you probably need it because you don't trust yourself to look after yourself. You don't want to be responsible for yourself. But if you, if if you don't need government, we don't need government. We, we're old enough now to look after ourselves. We've grown up. We don't need these tyrants uh, making decisions for the future of our earth. That, that their time's gone. So uh, we need to use our, our power. Like it's such a superpower is choice and thought and action. To choose what you think and then to act on that is, is the superpower because with that we can create anything anything it's all there we've got all the answers they've just been hidden from us a bit of searching you'll be able to find whatever you need uh, and that's that's really my message is we really do need to um you know put our power and our effort and our intention into what we want to build um not necessarily what we need but what we want what would be you know the best outcome the one that, that you you don't even believe could maybe happen, but you would want to happen. That's where the intention's got to be. Because going into this, we're creating the future for the next two and a half thousand years. Uh, 
Uh, so the bigger we can think, uh, the better it can be. So I think I might have gone off course there a little bit again. I just wanted... It, the message is really, at the moment, the power that those who wish to control us have over us is to control what we think. And they do that through the media, television, advertising, music, etc. So it's time for us to cut that cord, uh, to stop listening to all this stuff, stop watching and listening to their rhetoric because they're controlling our thoughts. We need to come from a place that is heart-centered and that is us and build from there. You know, not on their foundation, but we need to build a new foundation and start from scratch. And just let your mind soar, let your creativity soar. Whatever it is you want, you can seriously have it. That's, that's where we are now. And even though it looks pretty scary out there at the moment for a lot of people, I know, I understand. Just please understand, it's all a show. And this, this is exactly what I'm talking about. It's all a show because they want you to be fearful. They want to control your thoughts. If everyone just stood up and, and laughed at them, because clearly this, this whole beer virus thing, it has a 99.8% recovery rate. I mean, <laughs> it's a joke, and that's how it should be taken. We should be laughing at these people, uh, which a lot of people are starting to do. So don't be fearful. Use that energy to create what you want, not what you don't want, is the message. All right, guys. Hope I didn't ramble too much there. Hope there was something in there for you. And I really hope you have an awesome day. And I'll talk to you all on the next upload. Bye for now.